Hello everyone, this is Frugal Panda Reviews here. Hope everyone's having a good day. I want to show you a new power station I got. This is the Jackery 160. As you know, I have the Jackery 240 already. This one right here, how I ended up with the Jackery 240, or excuse me, the 160, was Black Friday. Um, they had these on sale for 111 bucks. I had no intentions of buying the 160, but it was $111. And then I had like, uh, I don't know if any people know this, but if you do Bing rewards, where basically I like sometimes use Bing as my um, search engine, you get gift certificates for Amazon. So anyway, I had $10 worth of that. So I got it all said and done, about a hundred bucks. Um, it comes with, of course, the power station. Power station has two USBs, Oh, plug in my phone even, nice. It's got a 12 volt and then it has for a solar panel and I have an aftermarket solar panel I use with these a 90 water that I've had from another project that I never used. This one's really cool too because it has a light on it. Now, one, one warning about these, the Jackery 160. It does not have pass through power. You can't pass through power. So if you're charging it, it will not, uh, you will not be able to run electricity through it like you can the 240. So you can't charge and use it at the same time like the 240, the 500, the 300, and the 1000 Jackery. So just know that with this one that it cannot. Peak power on it is 100 watts. Or excuse me, it's 100 watts, and the peak on it's 150 watts, uh, but more so, I'd say, yeah, around 150 watts. I've used it with my um, camping refrigerator, did fine. It would be a backup for it if my 240 was running low, or I needed to put my 240 out in the sun or something like that. Then I could just plug this in, and it will run it. It comes with charger, and the charger does charge the uh, Jackery 240, too, uh, also. The charger, carrying case for all your cables, cigarette lighter charger for your car, which I will use because I usually leave my Jackery 240 plugged. I have a van, so it's plugged into my regular plug-in in the back of my van. So I can use this with um, my Jackery 240, and I can plug this into a cigarette lighter to keep make sure it's always it's fully charged while I'm out which is really cool. The display on it is similar to or exactly like the Jackery 240 that I have already. It's really tiny, honestly. I was surprised. I knew it was going to be small, but I guess it just still came as a surprise when I got it. Let's see how much it weighs. Looks like uh, right around four pounds. Four pounds, yep, just around four pounds. So not significantly it's not really that heavy, but four pounds on it. Look at the size difference between the Jackery 240 and the Jackery 260. Um, you see it's quite a bit smaller. It's basically the 240 is practically almost double the size of the 160. Um, the Jackery 240 does not have a little flashlight on it like this one does but it has passed through power. So while it's charging, it's, it, can, it can run my refrigerator, it can run all types of stuff like that, up to 240 watts. Electrical port on the side, yeah, yeah. Actually kind of happy because I've had this, this fan right here. I'll leave a link in the description. I really like this fan because if you're camping or whatever, it goes all these different ways. It's pretty strong, but when it issues, this is one of my first camp fans is that it takes four D batteries. Those can get really expensive. It runs it for a long time. Um, like I've used it several, I, I used it over a week long trip, but still D batteries are expensive and this was pretty inexpensive. So with this on, I've already tested it. Plug it in. As you saw, it came, it came on. Then you would hit the button right here. Each one of the each one of the ports on here has a, a button by them, except for of course the solar input or the charging. Uh, the solar input um, doesn't uh, does not, of course. 
So you'd hit the button right here. Now what I hear on it, see if you guys can hear it. You can hear the little fan going in here. It's actually louder, I want to say, than my 240. I'll, I'll test that in a minute, because I never really noticed that that loud before. It's tolerable, and then you can turn it on high. Turn it on high. You can see it's pulling five watts. I plugged in two fans, because my other fans are USBs, and I plugged them in here too and ran them simultaneously. Ran it all night the next day on high. That's one of the things, even with the rechargeable batteries in my little fans, it will um, they'll only last like a few hours on high. You have to leave them on low for them to last like a couple of days. So I actually ran these on high and I was really excited because there's nothing like being in your van or whatever and having a couple of little fans going and these fans blow really well. And this one right here, I like I said, I leave a link because it go like that. It's my favorite fan, but the, the thing with it was the double D batteries, the D batteries in here. So I'm going to try this with the Jackery 240 because I want to see if the fan was that loud or maybe I just didn't notice it the last time or when I've been using it. You would not hear it. It's not super loud, but it's, of course, we're in a quiet house. It's louder, but I just never really noticed it on the 240. We're going to check that you out. You can peak it at 150, so 100 watts on the AC port. The peak is 150 watts on it. Um, I'm actually really excited. I really like this. I really like what I got. The only thing, of course it's small, um, which I knew that when I was buying it. I was getting a 160, it was just a great deal. I couldn't pass up 100 some bucks for a backup, a backup battery power station to another battery station that I really like too. Only thing I wish it had on it was the cigarette lighter port. That is one thing I do wish it had, but no big deal. Not a, not, that is definitely not a deal breaker for me because it has an AC port on the side of it and it has all these different USBs on it. So I'm, I'm not complaining. So with this, I mean, there's so much I can do with this. Like I said, I tested, I had two of my fans plugged in here on the high, let it run all night and still had tons of juice uh, left. Because especially if you get low wattage fans, like mine, my other ones, my rechargeables peak at five watts, but they put out really good air. So you put two of them in your van, uh, pointing different ways or pointing towards you or whatever, they'll work really great. So they're only like five watts on high, I want to say. Uh, but having, you know, two USB ports, a USB-C, charge my uh, Mac right on here. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. I have one 90 watt solar panel aftermarket one I've had forever that I use with the Jackery 240. I can use it with this one or leave this one just plugged in and use as a backup. Um, more so when I get out into the camp and more again, <clears throat> I'll test it and see um, how I want to work, how I want to do it because the 240 will be powering my refrigerator, but I can do other things too, especially when I'm driving. It's always going to be fully charged. And like I said, I have a solar panel for it too to plug in with a long cable. So it's no issue keeping it juiced up while it's running on my refrigerator and whatever, charging phones or whatever. And then I got this little baby right here that can do everything else I need it really to do, to be honest with you guys. Um, 149.99, I think it is. Um, I got it on Black Friday for 111, had a $10 off coupon. So I ended up getting it for around a hundred bucks. Very satisfied. I really recommend it, and I'd recommend it to someone who's on a budget, just want to try stuff out, especially if you're not running a refrigerator. Uh, and my refrigerator, by the way, is a low, uh, very low, it's a smaller one that does not, it, it sips energy, so it's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, but if you just want to try out and have your little backup, a little back, backup battery power station, I would recommend this, and because you're going to spend a lot of money to see if you really need it or you don't. But at its size, you can use it with your phones, charge your MacBook or whatever, like two, three times. Someone had asked me too, will the 240 um, power a CPAP? Yes, it will. Um, will a 160 power a CPAP? Yes, it will. Of course, there's gonna be a difference in 
the length of time it will be able to power them. Um, but with this 160 watts, hey, you're good to go. Now, just remember with the AC, though, it's a 150 watt peak on the AC, which is not a big deal. That powers most things you'll need for camping or just, you know, common stuff you would use. Um, for the price, I recommend getting it. Four pounds. If you got a little bit more money, buy this one. If you got a little bit more money, buy the two, uh, the 500. Uh, my next buy, after I go test these out, I'm actually camping. And if I think I need more, then I'll pick up the 500. But honestly, this one really does everything I needed to do. But I got this one because I couldn't pass up the deal for something that, you know, that cheap, 100 and some bucks. At the very least, it's good in an emergency. As I said earlier, as we wrap this video up, this one has a flashlight on the front of it. Has no cigarette lighter. This one has a cigarette lighter. Does not have a flashlight. On it. This has two USB ports, AC port, your input for your solar or your uh, cigarette lighter, uh, charging port, you can use it for the cigarette, the cigarette lighter, a plug in, or the solar power plug in to charge this. This does not have the cigarette lighter, but check this out two USBs, USB C right there you got your input for your solar you got your DC right there pretty simple guys pretty easy especially if you're not you don't really have the know-how of putting a whole back all these batteries together and all this stuff which is a lot of us um, you know putting our own lithium batteries in our van and all this with this I already know what I can do easily with this if I do jump up to the 500 I wouldn't go higher than the 5,000 or the 1,000, um, but more likely the 500. As all I have to do is really mount my 90 watt solar panel on top of my um, on top of my roof on my van, run the cable down, and plug it into there. <laughs> That's how simple it is. And I know it's really not that hard to do your uh, to set up your own whole battery system, but honestly. Um, this is a pretty quick fix and it didn't really cost me that much. Uh, $90 or so, whatever I paid for the solar panel, and then $249 for this. And it powers my refrigerator and everything else. Anyway, I hope this helps everyone um, who's looking at these. We have the Jackery Explorer 160, the Jackery 240 right here. Hope you all have a good day.